all right this nifty and daily chart uh, here you can see nifty a clear uptrend and this is a correction or you can say temporarily correction and after creating a lower point so somewhere here price just try to break this previous high point and price not able to break this point and after that we have seen a pullback and uh, finally today we have seen a bullish candle all right so we are expecting that price will stay above this uh, level so let me show you let me draw a horizontal line connecting this lower point so here you can see this is a lower point at the level of 14 one six uh, zero like one four one uh, six zero so we expecting that price will stay above this level so what I do here so I am going to construct the option strategy where I'm I, I'm trying to collect the premium so let me show you here so that case I'm using Ofstra okay let's get started and option at 25th may sorry today is 5th may and we have almost uh, 22 days to expire this uh option so let's go to here option same and i'm going to sell a put this is the put side and i'm going to use 20 delta trading strategy here 14,122 almost 22 yeah this one I'm going to sell at position 22 delta and another option I'm going to buy on 90 17 this one I'm going to buy okay Now here I can see profit and loss, 2500 profit, if I buy one lot and loss is showing maximum, uh, maximum profit 2584 and maximum loss is 12400, so it's a huge difference. But remember, we never allow our option, uh, if price goes against us, so we never allow or we never hold our position till expiry. Remember, if price goes, uh, like opposite direction against us so definitely we'll close our position all right remember but here you can see the winning probability is 76 uh, percent all right so let me show you here okay so means if price drop like that so uh, we may adjust our trading or we can close our position all right so when uh, when i adjust when press drop delta increase uh, 15 percent uh, if delta increase by 15 so definitely we'll close our position like here we have seen this area delta is what is the delta 22 all right am i right 22 delta now let me show you we select 22 delta this one 22 almost 23 you can say uh, if it increase plus 15 uh, 22 plus 15 if uh, it's become like uh, 37 so we'll adjust our position or we'll close our position all right but remember we are expecting that price will continue to our upside so that is why we are going to construct this awesome strategy all right okay so let's see today top gainer stocks uh, first uh, here you can see sun pharma 
so pharmaceutical company so let's jump to sun pharma so this one all right uh, we have seen big bull candle but i'm not interested to take any position here uh, price goes up strip uh, drastically toward upside is a probability to pull back again so i'm not interested to take any position here remember we need a pullback so my rule is buy deep in uptrend uh, this is not called deep so price already create a new high so we have to wait next upl let's jump to upl okay UPL here I can see this is the dip in the uptrend so they create a new high pullback and they are trying to create a new high so I'm looking for buy in a small time frame after giving a confirmation all right so let's see in a small time frame how it look like that okay this is a small time frame we have seen uh, this is the perfect buy opportunity here and right now price a little more far and we are expecting that in a small time frame we need a pullback all right that will be our buy opportunity okay another stock this one axis bank this one axis bank all right axis bank also buy opportunity uh, we have seen this is the bull pin bar. We have seen this is the bull pin bar. Uh, this pin bar are uh, appearing just above this moving average, 50 moving average. Have you seen it? And after that, uh, confirming by a bullish candle. So we are expecting the price will create a new high very soon. So we are looking for buy. Okay. All right. So in that case, what we will do here? What is our buy opportunity? So and I connect most <coughs> recent swing point. Now here you can see this one swing point, swing point, and I just connect it by using a diagonal trend line. So we need a breakout, so that will be our buy opportunity. Okay. Let me move another stock in the same bank. All right, clear uptrend in a large time frame, but here you can see they are running a sideway. So if you can see, this is called sideway. Let me zoom a little more. Zoom. Yeah. So this is the market range. Uh, here I can see this is the market range. This is the support and this is the resistance line. All right. So if you wanna enter here. You just close your position here so it will be better for intraday or we can uh, we can use iron control once uh, once price hit this level so let me show you how we construct iron control exactly okay now this is the range of this market this is the upper boundary and this is the lower boundary like this is the support and this is the resistance all right this is the resistance this is the support and the right now price is somewhere there if price hit this level we can construct a iron condor so iron condor my next target will be somewhere there okay i like that all right first like uh, here uh, sell a call uh, buy another call uh, one or two stack press above and another sell a put and the buy a put the, just below this uh, stack press all right so it will be like a look like that it will be look like that uh, like an iron condor all right it will be like that okay so if uh, price expire sorry expire in between these range so we we'll collect entire premium okay so uh, basically we are using in a sideway market right now here you can see this is the sideway market 
all right this is the sideway market so we expect the price will stay in between this range till uh, uh, i think 25th or 27th uh, may all right this is the expiry if price stay in between this range till 25th uh, sorry 27th uh, may so we'll collect the premium okay next kodak mahinda kotak mahinda so the kotak mahinda now can see uh, this is the buy confirmation we can use option strategy also here and clear uptrend by uh, according to moving average and it act as a support this area act as a support so somewhere there and right now they are forming a bullish confirmation all right uh, let me zoom a little more okay here you can see this is the bullish confirmation uh, now you can see here have you seen this is the pin bar confirming by a bullish candle so expecting the price will create a new high very soon okay or you can use here various type of option strategy next uh, icica bank this one last one icica bank let's see icica bank this is banking sector yeah so here i can see this is the temporarily correction and after that according to the price action method here you can see this is the uh, lower point here higher high higher low and create a new higher high so after that uh, they are forming here lower low lower high lower low and uh, finally they create a new higher high and pull back create a new lower high and we expect in the price will create a new high and most of the people are using this uh, price action method basically it's not a valid price action method because uh, these uh, lower low or lower high uh, they are forming they are not able to break this wave so this wave this is the major wave all right you can say this one impulsive wave but all are corrective wave all right and next uh, we expect the price will create a new high very soon so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe and thanks for watching